Hi there, Milka with MamasReviews.com and um, I did a video on the Walmart family mobile plan and I did see something somewhere about some people having trouble um, activating it. So this is just a little video walkthrough on how to get your, um, your phone activated. Okay, so what you're going to need is that starter kit that came that you had to buy. Um, this was a, the additional $25. Um, that you have to you, you buy the one time. You're also going to need your IMEID number that comes on the bottom of the box that the phone came in. And you're also going to need um, a driver's license. I want to see, I'll let you know if a picture ID is going to be, um, if that'll work as well. But what you do, you can activate actually in stores if you like, so that way you don't have to worry about it at all. Or you can activate online, or there's an 800 number you can call, 877-308-9621. Um, okay, so on to go to the website, it's www.myfamilymobile.com slash activation. And I'm going to go ahead and go there. Pressing all the wrong keys. <laughs> Okay, so I'm there. Okay, so it says what you need to get started. You, you're going to need your family mobile phone or phones and the packaging that they came in. You're going to need also your um, family mobile starter kit and also your driver's license or other personal ID. Okay, so phone, box that it came in, activation um, kit. And also, I have my ID here. All right, so um, it says activate your phones. This is your first family mobile phone. It says click next below and we'll help you activate your phone. Otherwise, if you're an existing member, um, you can log in if you want to add like additional phones to your account. So I'm going to go ahead and click next because I've not activated phone with them yet. Okay, so it asks how many phone, how many phones are you activating today? I'm just going to do the one. So you click, and there's up to five. I'm gonna click one and next. And then it says, choose the primary phone. The primary phone is the one that belongs to the primary account holder, meaning the person who pays for the bill. And um, click the primary account holder's phone below. If you don't see it listed, you click other phone. So for example, if you have your own phone that you purchased, um, and I do have an Alcatel One Touch Evolve here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the picture that represents that particular phone. Okay, so it's asking who will be using this phone. You're going to um, put your first name, last name, SIM number. SIM number is, let's see if that's on here. Okay, SIM number, SIM number. Okay, here we go. SIM number is on the activation card here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Um, it's um, several digits long and it is on your card um, on the card the activation card that the sim card was on so the sim number is there so I'll put that there it's asking for an activation code um, activation code so let's see how long it takes me to find that oh and there, there's a little walkthrough so it tells you exactly where the activation code is it is here so I'm gonna go ahead and put that activation code number in on the same yellow card I mean card with the yellow top there Okay. And then it asks for the phone's IMEI, IMEI or serial number, and that's on the bottom of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information into. Okay. So. You have a choice now of getting a new phone number or transferring an existing phone number. And there's a frequently asked question um, section if you're looking to transfer an existing phone number. So I'm just going to get a, few, a new phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button now. Okay, so now it's asking for 
Okay, it auto, auto populated my name there because I had to put it on the previous screen asking for a street address. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information in. And it's asking for my preferred area code. So it's going to give me um, choices based on what's local to me. I'm quite sure. I'm just trying to. There we go. Having a little bit of a hard time ticking the. Okay, there we go. All right. So it's asking now for an alternate phone number, which is optional. So I don't have to put that there if I don't want to. Um, and actually, I won't worry about an optional, optional phone number. And that's asking for an email address. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address there. Verify email address. Create PIN. Verify PIN. ID type. Um, Let's see, I'm going to use my driver's license. You can also use military ID, a passport, U.S. territory IDs, U.S. permanent resident card, federally issued disability ID card, state or federally issued ID card, tribal issued ID card, Canadian driver's license, matricula, consular ID card, foreign passport, visa, New York State benefit card, or a New York State learner's permit. So I'm going to use my license. It's asking for the state of my license asking for my ID number asking for the expiration month and year putting that information in drop down box and it's asking for my date of birth so I'm getting this information in and I'm going to click the next button Okay, so now it's asking me if I um, want to add unlimited web access to any unlimited talk and text plan for only $10 per line. Um, <laughs> excuse me, it says the unlimited web feature includes a 5 gigabyte allotment of web access at up to 3G speeds. This high speed access can be added to each line on your account. Once you've used 5 gigabytes of data, you'll still enjoy unlimited web access at reduced speeds. Um, so let's see says unlimited web for ten dollars a month five gigabytes at up to 3g speeds for email video and more I'm gonna select no at this time you can always change your data option later if you need to it says there so I'm gonna go ahead and click next um, and let's see just verifying my information the type of phone area code I want um, what plan I want um, unlimited web I didn't select that one actually giving me a subtotal um, okay let's see and then from there you click activate phone total so far is 29 2988 if you haven't done it so already insert the sim card and charge battery into your new phone then you're ready to start calling and texting so I already have that information there. It's activated, ready to go. Simple. Um, looks like that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and um, test it out. Make sure we're good to go. Powering it up. Okay, powering up now. Sorry about that, had to plug into our power source, but that about covers it. Um, phone is now activated and um, I already placed a test call, it goes through just fine. Um, again, you can activate in the store, you can activate online or you can activate by calling the 800 number that I gave earlier. Um, and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.